Spiro, Spiro Sauce. Getting it going. Spiro, uh, a player who's sort of been, he, he sort of just sat down and decided one day that he was gonna get the or at least decided recently. And he really put the work in and, and landed the, uh, the fifth slot uh, this time around. Sauce been PR, so we're already familiar with how good Sauce is, but Spiro, um, if you, if you know my spirit, I shouldn't have this one. Um, Mario Palu, yeah. This matchup is particularly interesting, and this is a stage that I feel like would, yeah, uh, watch yourself on that one. Palu does make it back after that, but that is true at very particular percent on most characters. Um, they the explosive flame, unfortunately, a little bit off on the range there. The air dodge, very good call, but still finds himself dragged. Palu Chainlink, so after called by Dennis, the living frame attack. That's dead. That's, that is gone. Don't worry about that up smash. That boy is gone. And Sauce gotta find this stuff. This isn't really find stuff. Oh, yo. Uh, that's big damage. <laughs> like that F smash trying to cover the get back on the stage. Dash attack. I feel like that was almost a simple. Not there. So, oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't get all the hits. But the Mario. Or actually, Mario hitting Palu with the Palu. Roll to the ledge back throw. <laughs> very, very good. Okay. Back air F tilt. Pushing, pushing uh, Spiro off stage in that situation. Sauce is looking for this damage right now. And Mario is a character who can find it, I think, right now. Down tilt up airs. That's, that's the starter we're looking for. Nice up B, beating out that little scramble scenario. This can get kind of dangerous. Especially considering the positioning of Sauce. Right no longer anymore, though. This is where Mario really wants to be. Watch yourself, not the stock. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't know if we can get the kill. But it's at the very least pretty scary. Nice back air. Getting the trump, getting the back air. Not going to be the stock there. Tries to two-frame with the nair. A little bit surprised. Dash and roar, dash and roar up smash. The big forehead. The plumber forehead. Just a classic. 12% on that. Nice. Maybe he was looking for a uh, two-frame, but he just decided to grab the ledge afterwards. I like these low aerials after the block something he caught. Oh, because of the Cloud Tanner Care that's gonna work away back after a lot of that. Gone! Did he just get shimmied? <laughs> that boy just got shimmied and smashed. Spiro, Spiro looking for a throw tech, no sir. <laughs> Oh man, I, I love seeing the little the little Street Fighter going on every once in a while. That was a little bit of Street Fighter. The walk in, the walk out. Start the battle. What you trying to do? Mario I didn't see the stage pick because I'm not good at that, but it seems to me like Spears in a position where there's there's a couple stages you could go to. Kalos is definitely Two, there's a good stage. One, go. Again, Zoners have a pretty pretty much a pick of the litter when it comes to mimicking counterfeit stages just because banning two does not mean you get rid of the third a lot, in a lot of circumstances. Okay, surprise that up air whip, but that's gonna be a lot of damage that he's missing out on. Oh, back air. Nice little two piece. More of these up airs. Sauce getting these juggles right now. Good grab, down throw. Let's go for a full hop up air. Would have been a nice conversion off that platform there, but unfortunately, a little bit too high up. Nice aim on these flames. Still, smart to roll back there. Understanding that Sauce had no tech chase in that in the rollback. Air off the ledge. Is doesn't seem to be a shield poke. I believe Sauce just got the shield. That's taboo. Yo, oh, I I didn't think that would kill. I wonder if that GI would be bad. And here's some damage. All right, 40, 41. Solid, solid damage. That's a jab, kind of a new one. Ooh, that's an important trade. That's the difference between uh, Sparrow pushing a mix up after a back air. I believe that was a back air. Oh, interesting. No punish, but I've never seen that before. There's one. 60%. 85%, nowhere near that dangerous. But we should see. I like that down, that down air though. Beat out here. Did that beat out here? 
supposed to flank with Snake. Oh, slightly above the ledge is actually going to be kind of unfortunate for Sauce. Good counter. Does not have his jump. That's Mario. Yep. Working his way back. Mario's kind of hard to mess with that. Good Nair. Not quite enough. Ah, uh, not quite. Unfortunate. A little bit too low that time. After all those recoveries, there's one There's one that uh, Sauce is not going to make that right now. So. There's Nair. So we're all familiar with the concept. Ooh, goes for the back air there for the ender. Could have gone for an up air. I think that's the more that's the more standard ender. But back air definitely definitely would have been better position. This was there. Hang on block seems to be pretty hard to punish, especially for Palu with, with Mario having the drift that he has. Ooh, that roll has been covered. These explosive flames, their aim is slightly better. Very significant. And that up air. What are you gonna do? <laughs> no way. Hide from the light. Now I understand there's some of that some of that footstool tech garbo that a lot of people are familiar with. Um, I don't know how easy that is to put into practice, and I don't even know if it would have worked in that case. But that's the example that I've been given: is hey, Palutena is doing up airs. You can phantom footstool to get out of them, and that's kind of cool. Seems to me in that circumstance, the sauce wasn't really. I don't even know if it works there. I, I assume the tech is more situational than just do it whenever and it works. Stop if it the wasn't the case, I feel like I'd see everyone. Mario. Either way, 1-1. One, one. Running it all the way back, all the way back. Pretty convincing win from, from Spiro. Three, two, Let's see how one, this goes. Let's see, let's see where we're at. Ooh. Dash back there. Very good. Nair to combo break, but unfortunately drag down there with Palu is actually just about neutral or maybe even minus at times for Palu. If you get the drag down on the wrong hits, you might just get punished, especially with the character like Mario and the flame damage that he has. That is some good damage though. That air dodge is bad news. Sauce so playing a little scared maybe. That air dodge like that. Okay, I like those back airs. Goes for the jab lock, but Palu maybe getting a little bit too low to the ground with the uh, texture scenario there. Jab block is not gonna hit. Good parry. Shout out to top tier though. We don't get we don't get punishes on parry. <laughs> not on a power back there, sir. Dead. Good dash attack. That's it. Ooh, the read. Oh no, that was that tech chase tech, wasn't it? That was that thing where if you dash forward, you'll go through people or whatever, or you won't go through people. I've heard of that. Nice up smash there. Very, very good. These tech chases are where they gotta be. And this is this is the hardest position right now. Um, because Palo definitely has the tools to keep to keep Mario out. And Mario really wants two specific starters right now. He wants like a landing back air, uh, or three specific starters. A landing back air, a down air, or a grab. Maybe a falling up air will do, but up air isn't really gonna get the start the, the starter that he wants. And Palu, Palu can play around that pretty easily. Again, these up airs are not, they're not really starting the damage that he's looking for, and Palu back air is actually gonna put that up. 42% is still a little bit of extra credit though. Unfortunately, I believe it's all gone. <laughs> not all the way gone. No, now it's all gone. Um, the lead that once was, no longer there. I wouldn't call this too much of a lead though. But the, I would say Mario is uh, definitely in the running for, for very good first damage. He's also got to start watching out for these explosive things. Oh! Can I get another? I don't know if that's punishable by F Smash. That might be an F Smash punish though. Just saying. Okay. He tries to start the combo with the down tilt there, but the low hitbox again, gonna get jumped over pretty easily. Air, good. We should get a block, dash up, block again. Aware of, of Spiro's options. Sauce is making sure that he can work his way in slowly. That work. Palutena is up, be hard to punish. If you react to the startup, you can get the punish if you know where she's going to be. It's hard to know where she's going to be. If you don't react to, you, to a startup, she can get away. That's generally how it goes. There's a lot of teleports here. Goes for the dash attack. Two frame. Nice up smash on the get up attack. Good punish, good punish. Flex parry. That parry was not a flex parry. That was, you're gonna need 
The frame traps, I like it. Bit by bit. Every every single hit just evens it up slowly. One Sauce gets an opening, Spiro gets an opening. Watch the back air. That's just the set. Oh my god. I was confident. Ah, with Jesus. Alright, we gotta we gotta relax here. It's getting scary. We're kissing that blast right now. We're not kissing it anymore. That is, we're giving it a heck of a hug. And that's going to be the game. That's the whole set. Spiro taking it. Spiro taking it over sauce.